coming up on this week's episode of the Weekly Wrap-Up. Project Cars hits another yellow light as the game is delayed once more. Wow, wow. Also, more indications that Harmonix is indeed developing Rock Band for the Xbox One and the PlayStation 4. Amiibos are set to unlock NES and Super Nintendo games. And while Mortal Kombat X might not have a demo, there might be some new character teases. And don't forget, this is your last week to get a chance to win a $20 PlayStation Network or Xbox gift card. All this and more details coming up on the February 20th edition of the Weekly Wrap-Up. What's up, guys? Welcome to another edition of the Weekly Wrap-Up. Your host right here, of course, A to the P, Albert Perkins, right here on Mammoth Gamers. There's a lot of news to get into for this week, as you heard on my intro, as always. So with that said, let's check out what we had going on for the week of February 20th, 2015. Project Cars, the graphical juggernaut racing game, originally slated for release on March 17th, has been pushed back yet again to April 2nd for the PC and April 7th for the Xbox One and PlayStation 4. In November 2014, pushed to March 17th, 2015, and finally again to April 2nd, the latest delay on Project Cars was said to be made due to making final adjustments to the game. Slightly mad studio boss Ian Bell had this to say regarding the delay. Quote, Moving the release date was not an easy decision to make, as we know our fans are eager to get their hands on Project Cars. But we know that these extra days will allow us to provide the best game experience that our fans deserve. We assure you that the wait will be worth it when the game does arrive in early April. Unquote. The game is also slated for release on the Wii U, however the release date has yet to be announced on that console. For more on Project Cars, keep it locked on the Weekly Wrap-Up and Mammoth Gamers. A few weeks back I indicated that Harmonix could be working on a new Rock Band game. While Harmonix has not yet confirmed a new Rock Band game is imminent, it does appear that a new game is well on the way for the Xbox One and PlayStation 4. Bloomberg sources report this week that a new Rock Band game is in development for the Xbox One and PlayStation 4. This is all according to a source familiar with Harmonix plans. Now last month Harmonix released a survey asking their fans if they would like to see a new Rock Band game if the studio were to go ahead and make one. Further indications that Harmonix is working on a Rock Band game appeared a few weeks back as they began launching new DLC for the game something that they, they hadn't done in more than two years. Now, a representative told Polygon and GameSpot that, quote, we're excited by how enthusiastic our fans have been in regards to our most recent DLC releases, and we think it's awesome that people are still speculating about the future of the franchise. While we still don't have anything to announce, hundreds of thousands of unique users are still actively playing Rock Band games each month. This passion our fans have shown for Rock Band over the years suggests that Rock truly hasn't died, and we've always been clear that we'd love to return to the franchise when the time is right, unquote. Harmonix is set to have a booth at PAX East next month, where it will show off new and upcoming games. Could Rock Band be one of those games? We'll just have to wait and see. So, have you gotten your hands on any of these guys? I sure hope so, because they might be your ticket to some free nostalgic games from Nintendo. Check this out. Nintendo is said to be working to increase the value of its Amiibo toys even more. How? By offering nostalgic unlockable demos for the NES and SNES titles on the Wii U. The Wii U app will allow gamers to enjoy highlighted scenes from selected games when they use certain Amiibos on the gamepad. The demo scenes will be limited by a time limit, but will contain other scenes if you tap the amiibo once again. Nintendo president Satoru Iwata said, quote, We hope that when you tap your amiibo, the quickly changing game scenes will pleasantly surprise you and make you feel as though you have just exchanged a game cartridge, unquote. Nintendo offering a nice way to go back in time while still engaging on a current gen game. Mortal Kombat X head Ed Boon stated this week on Twitter that Mortal Kombat X will not have a demo. Now before you go ahead and express your disappointment, Mr. Boon did tease something that will excite 
fans of Spawn and Predator. Comic book creator Todd McFarlane confirmed that he's given NetherRealm Studios permission to feature Spawn in Mortal Kombat X. He does, however, admit that they won't necessarily choose to do so. Additionally, the Predator may be coming to the roster as well. A source states that the first DLC for Mortal Kombat X will add the Predator to the roster. Ed Boon has been dropping Predator hints in his Twitter feed over the past few months, posting fan photos of him in the game. Stay tuned for updates, as this bit of news is sure to continue developing. And that wraps up all the news that I have for this week, right here on the Weekly Wrap-Up. I appreciate you guys tuning into the show, as always. For more video game, tech geek, and nerd news, head on over to mammothgamers.com, where they geek big. And for more Weekly Wrap-Up videos, head on over to youtube.com forward slash Weekly Wrap-Up Gaming, which reminds me, you have one more week to go ahead and enter the Weekly Wrap-Ups YouTube contest. All you have to do is head on over to the YouTube page, hit that subscribe button, where you, where you will be automatically entered to win a $20 Xbox gift card or a $20 PlayStation Network gift card. Your choice. Again, the address, youtube.com forward slash weekly wrap of gaming. Good luck, and we'll see you next week.